Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dokkan video. It's Minato here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Int LR, Vegito, and Gogeta. So we do have the V-Jump scans that confirm that these two are going to EZA for the 7th anniversary. We know that part 3, well actually if I bring this up here, part 3 is scheduled to start. Uh, this went down for some reason, okay. I, I did it again. <laughs> the part three is scheduled to start here. Uh, where where could I find this right here? Um, probably down here. There is this right. Here. Part three should be starting here on the twenty second. So this is in basically less than a week from now. Should be when we get part three and everything like that. So that'll be basically also when we know the LR details, which should be. Honestly, it'll probably be around here. So in a, <laughs> in a very, very short amount of time, we will see the part two LR details. Uh, very, very exciting. But I did go ahead and make some concepts for these guys. Uh, I think they could be very, very strong units. And I know many people are expecting these guys to be really busted. I personally hope that they just go all on. They're just like, you know what? Let's just, let's just go. Let's just be crazy, right? So let's go over Vegito first right here. Uh, this is basically what I think he's going to do. So... His leader skill that I give him is Patara Key 3 and 170% to stats or uh, int types, not physical types. No <laughs> int types, Key 3 and 120% to stats. So uh, I think they're just going to bump this up to 170%. We've seen that happen with, you know, physical future Gohan and stuff like that. So it would make a lot of sense to me if we see something similar to that. And this doesn't really matter, but yeah, it's cool, I guess, you know, whatever. <laughs> For a super attack effects, I just added the raise attack and events one turn. Um, just very, very basic. I wouldn't expect them to have like stun or anything special like that. Uh, just basic good, right? Like the Esther, Vegito, Tech Gogeta would make a lot of sense, right? Um, no stacking. I mean, maybe you can give them stacking, but I doubt it. <laughs> Not with the Vegito uh, fusion. <laughs> with, imagine stacking attack before you fuse. That'd be nasty. I give them 150% attack and defense on the starter turn. They get an additional 10% attack and defense up to 30% with each attack they receive. They have 30% damage reduction. They get key 2 in addition and a 10% chance from a critical hit when they collect rainbow key spheres. So the biggest thing is added is I made this a larger buff. I gave them an additional 30% right here which is a multiplicative buff as well. Game the damage reduction, the critical hit, and then the raise on super attack, which they definitely need a lot. They're very plain right now, and I hope that they add a lot to this unit um, to make them really, really just good overall in the game. Can you, oh, by the way, I want to put hit this guy has 16k defense. His attack is not the highest, but he counts counters, right? But 16k defense is very, very insane. So he's going to be a very tanky boy, especially when this is built up and the 30% damage reduction. It'll be a perfect slot one unit. So his link skills are the same. Of course, his categories are the same. A lot of teams that I could, you know, you could use help with, like a final trump card. I feel like would be a very good one. Uh, Patara needs more units, stuff like that. So yeah. So his condition, I uh, just made it the fourth turn from the start of battle. I was really trying to rack my brain, like trying to think of how this guy could get his fusion with the Estra Vegito. The closest thing I thought of would be if, you know, he keeps the same 6 turn under 50% HP, but he also gains on the 4th turn above 77% HP. And that way what will happen is you would just fuse with Estra Vegito if you're under the HP threshold. Then you would fuse with the uh, into Vegito, right? Uh, the only issue with, there's two issues with that though. Firstly, it would just be on turn 4 only. So if you still fall under 50% on turn 6, then you won't be able to fuse with the other one. And then on top of that, how it works is it would need to be start of turn. So either way, uh, you would not be able to, like, even if you fuse with Estra Vegito, get to above 77% in that uh, specific concepts, you still couldn't fuse with this guy because it has to be start of turn. So I, just, I was like, you know what, there's not really a way for them to go ahead and fix that. And I feel like they probably wouldn't go out of their way just to make them... Uh, very easily to get together right because this guy and str vegeta together is probably going to be uh very very nasty so that's fine right 
Uh, and his 12 key for LR Super Vigil. I gave him the 20% defense and attack raise for one turn for all allies. And then the 18 key is just the 30% attack and defense raise for all allies. So his 12 key doesn't do anything. So I just added to that. And then this already raises allies attack by 30%. So I just added the defense right there. And I think that's really good for like S tier Vegito. Uh, his passive skill, he fully recovers HP once only. Uh, give him key 7 and super attack reveal for 7 turns from the first appearance. That's, that's mostly because of the 7th anniversary. I, I was like, let's, I gotta add a 7 in here somewhere. I give him 180% attack and defense. Uh, I guess it could be 170%, right? But eh. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% up to 50% with each attack received. Again, that's a multiplicative buff. He counters normal attacks with tremendous powers always. I give him key 3 and a chance from critical hit plus 12% now with each rainbow key sphere obtained. So let's say you get 4 rainbow key spheres with this guy. Uh, you have a 48% chance to crit, 36% chance to crit with 3, and so on and so forth. And on top of that, he has Patar category allies gain an additional defense plus 50%. Really, this guy is designed to be SGR Super Vegito's uh, best friend. Uh, this guy will be most likely in slot 1. His defense will be really good even more before Super Attack once you have this bow up. And again, with the support, SGR Super Vegito will be a lot better, especially if he's able to Super Attack first. So, very nasty rotation. Though I will say the reveal of Super Attacks... Uh, the thing is that if you're running like double Vegito, well, well, what could happen is you can just put this guy with the super attack because this guy's going to be much more tankier than the SDR one. Uh, just in general, because no matter what, like this defense is way too high. <laughs> um, but yeah, because uh, he changes power for Super God and Fuse Fighter from Saiyan Lineage and Experienced Fighters. But yeah, that is Int Vegito. I think I made him pretty good. Uh, he's going to do a lot of damage. And with the crit hit right here, dude, he's going to be insane. He's going to be quite insane. Like, he he already does decent damage now. Like, even now. Like, literally just like this. He does decent damage already. Very, very excited. Um, next, we're going to go over the physical Gogeta section. He's very similar um, to the Int Vegito, right? But there's obviously some changes. Uh, of course, now he's the fusing category lead of 3K and 170%. We did just get tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and I would say even this this guy's gonna be better than him, right? But this guy has better links with the fuse fighting units, right? Because he has like shocking speed over in a flash fuse fighter. This guy doesn't until they fuse, and especially shocking speed will allow you to run this unit a lot better. Um, but I, I, technically, you're probably just going to run this guy as your quote-unquote fusion leader anyway, since it has every single unit in this category. So, I guess that's something to consider. But, um, yeah, just wanted to bring it up there. I expect them to be fusion of 170%, and then physical types of 120%. Uh, raise attack and defense one turn, same thing. He's pretty much the same thing as Invidido, um until here so so the crit chance he gets the additional super attack chance right there so you can get multiple super attacks so like if you grab like four rainbow keysters you'll get a 40 percent chance stuff like that right um i think I, I think double supering is very very powerful uh especially with how strong super attack effects could be this game in this era of the game so yeah uh especially with the extra defense raise right here and the 30 percent damage reduction his defense is not nearly as high as the Vegito's, but his offense is also much higher. So it's kind of like more balanced out-ish, I feel like, in a sense, right? Uh, this Goji is going to hit very hard, though, with this fully built up. Uh, same fusing condition, just 50% from the fourth turn. I should actually do that. And again, same links, same categories. This guy is on more categories than Vegito. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of categories. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 categories, huh? Cool. All right, LR Super Gogeta right here. Uh, 12 key, just raise attack and defense. His agent key give the great raise for attack and defense. And then on top of that, uh, he does still lower attack and defense and does Mega Colossal. Just um, just in general, right? Because he, on his Super Gogeta, he really just only lowers attack and defense. I think give him the great raise will help him a lot. Uh, Gogeta gets key 7 and reveal enemy super attacks for 7 turns. Attack and defense plus 180%. Super effective against all types. 
He gets the attack and defense plus 50% instantly compared to the Vegito, but he has to super attack. While his Vegito's would be start of turn once it's fully built up, right? So that's a difference. But this, with the with this super attack effect, will be pretty good. Uh, I feel like he performs an additional super attack guaranteed. And then he gets key 3 and 30, 12% damage reduction with each rainbow key sphere obtained. And of course, he supports fusion category allies, defense plus 50%. So I feel like he does more than the Vegito in a sense because he's all super effective. He double super attacks guaranteed. He has his own defense race. And then again, he's still supporting. He has a damage reduction as well. There's a lot really to consider about him. And you could probably argue with like multiple rainbow orbs, he should be a better slot one unit than the Vegito probably even though Vegito has all his defense fully built up this guy will have the damage reduction which could be very huge uh even though he wants to super attack first right but especially after he super attacks he'll be quite formidable and again giving this defense support will help attack Gogeta as well especially after he runs out of his five turn passive we'll still have this for an extra turn as well so yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I think I, it's very, it's gonna be very hard to make Super Gogeta better than Vegito. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, if they're like this in game, that would be cool, right? But probably gonna be completely different. If anything, maybe mine are just way better than the real ones. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching. Uh, how, uh, actually, I also wanted to know how you guys would change this unit or what you would like most to see from these LRs. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.